Colonel Graff presents Scuba Diving at Quill Lake. Now loading on a computer near you. I kind of like this beginning. This is kind of neat. This is a new game I found. It's, uh, I've been playing it for a few hours now, and uh, I've gotten along quite well so far. Um, let's click play. Let's see. I'm in my scuba gear, all ready to go. Let's just do a quick look around first. This is where you start. Um, over here. Okay, go here. Uh, this is Steve's Scuba, Ski scuba Gear Center. And these are the different things you can uh, buy. I've uh, I've got them already. You start off with free dive training that allows you to uh, just go be able to hold your breath longer. Scuba gear allows you to stay under uh, water a lot longer. Then you have advanced suit, increase your swimming speed. The geolocator tells you where you are. Uh, flashlight, you need that in some dark places. Even still, I wish it could be a bit lighter. Life jacket gets you up to the surface quickly, and the dive weight gets you down quickly. So that's uh, time that is not wasted swimming up and down. And what you do is you go swimming in the lake here and find gold coins and interesting artifacts. And then you come back here and you sell them at the pawn shop. And what you do is you see, I've got a flame golem head. And I can sell that right now. I've also got 81 in cash. So I'm going to click sell. And we're going to sell all. Okay. And as you can see, where's Rick's Park? I've now got 226 coins in cash, which is very helpful. One other thing you need to be aware of is once you get scuba gear, then you need to refill your scuba tanks every once in a while. Uh, it costs about 14 coins to uh, fill it up to full. I've already done that, so mine is full already. So let's go scuba diving. When you first start out, you're just going to be snorkeling and looking around here and looking for coins. And see, there's one coin down there. You also find some. Um, so I've got one coin in my uh, backpack. You also find items as well. As you can see, this guy's just scuba snorkeling. Um, I've actually got the scuba gear so I don't have to keep going up to breathe all the time. And just collecting a few coins around here. I've pretty well collected all the artifacts around here so I don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, it's really lovely. It reminds me of when I actually did some scuba diving. Uh, that was absolutely fantastic and I want to go back and do that again sometime. Okay, now we get into a deeper area. You can see all sort of shipwrecks and things like that around here. And even some fishies. Hey, Nemo! What are you doing here? I just had sushi for lunch. And now I can show you my life, just, uh, life vest. Put it on and I go up quickly. There we go. And I'm at the top there. I just realized my uh, indicator is being hidden by my video so I'm going to move myself up here. Yeah. Hi there, I'm up the okay. top now. So just sell all my coins and as you can see my cash total went up. So. And oops, I'm going to walk into the door as well. So you can do lots of different things like walking into the door, walking into a beach umbrella. Yeah. It's really fun. And I'm just going to fill up my tanks. It's only half uh, empty, so I'll just only need to uh, get seven coins worth. And I'm going to get my boat. Now, after you've done some scuba diving, you'll want to uh, get a boat. You get the boat from this person. And since I've already got one, I just click on this and my dinghy is here! Yay! ring a ding a dinghy And I'm going to go over to here. After you've done the preliminary stuff, you'll want to go over to Merlin's place. Which is right over here. He does more of the advanced stuff. 
I'm lagging a bit. Okay, let me slow down. Okay, now this is where you can go on different, uh, go to different areas. Go on in here. He's still got, he's got a refill air tank as well, and you talk to him, a rather sullen fellow, and you can get all these disguises here. So you get a pirate disguise, a hazmat suit, and a heat suit. And these places will let you go into special areas. So I'm going to go to the get into my pirate disguise. Uh, I'm a lovely samurai pirate. And the pirate area is just up here. So I'm just going to go over here and use my, my weight to get down. Okay, three. And there's my... Okay, coming down. So let, let go of it. Okay, now I can swim around here. If you try to go in here without the pirate disguise, you're going to get in trouble. You're going to die. Okay, so that's the pirate area. Now I'm going to switch into my radiation resistant scuba gear. And that's what it looks like. And now we're going to go to my boat and we're going to go over. Oh, no, wrong seat. We want to be in driver's seat. Yes, that's good. Okay, so we're going to turn around. Me, 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 me. And we're going to go over all the way over here. Okay, and that's right around here. So we're going to slow down. Don't hit the rocks. All right, and get the anchor so we can sink down quickly. Okay, anchor off. And you can see there's a shipwreck here. Now, that reminds me of the time when I actually went uh, scuba diving and went into a shipwreck. That was amazing. Because you, you just going along in the water and you just see this thing in the distance and you get closer and it just keeps on getting bigger and bigger and bigger and until you're just standing you're just well not standing you're floating over the wreck of a big light uh, ocean tanker and it was just an amazing experience okay here's a sewer pipe and it's going to ask you to one of the quests that requires you go to go into the sewer pipe here but you have to be careful oh flashlight on yeah you have to be careful not to get lost okay so that was the radioactive shipwreck now we're going into the we need the heat resistant scuba gear because we're going into the lava place okay so let's go it's just off the coast here just off the shore so we're gonna go over here life jacket off and, oops life jacket off and wait on we're sinking quickly okay wait off That's just over here oh chest squirrel chest ah, nice purple chest and we got another coin there I'll get that one We're in the volcanic area now. And thank goodness I've got. Oops, I missed a coin. Come on, there we go. Get in my head. Here's the lava. And you can actually touch this and not die. There's a part that you cannot go to. And now, here is what you're looking for. And you'll get the astronaut's journal. Which I've already picked up, or Captain's Aviator's Journal, Galactic Action Mission. I won't let you read that. You have to find it yourself. Now, this red stuff is like the green stuff, it'll kill you, as well as the uh, uh, steam as well. So, avoid the steam. If you're going for the coins, you've got to be very careful not to touch it. There we go. This is pretty cool. I like this. Yikes. But well, that's a nice start to this game, scuba diving at Quill Island. So, goodbye! Okay, I'm in the power suit now, 
and you can get to one of the items in the tower right behind me. See that tower I'm pointing at right now? Let's just go take a look. You find it at the top of the tower. Once at the tower, you go in this doorway, use your flashlight, click so you can see, and you go just straight up the uh, stairs to the top. You'll find there are plans right here at the top of the tower. The next piece of the power suit is found right by Merlin's cannon. What you do is you just go into the water here, put your weights and sink down. And you have to find the cave down here. Okay, so there's the gate and there's a cave just over here. Now you'll find a piece on this body right here. For the next piece you're going to need the heat resistance suit and we're going to go into the lava cave. Okay, go into the lava cave here and all the way to the back. The piece will be right here. For the last piece you need your radiation resistance suit and you need to go to the sunken ship. Okay, so enter the ship, go down here, and you'll find the opening here. Then once in here, go all the way around these things to the back, and you'll find it on the ground here. It's very small and quite difficult to see. Bring all the pieces back here to Merlin Shack, along with 300 gold, and he will, you give it all to him, and he will make it in five minutes. And that's how you get the power suit.